Good morning, and welcome to St. Mother Garen Parish. Let us give thanks and praise to our Lord as we enter the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please stand. Lord, we pray with one accord for a just and equal sharing of the things that earth affords to a life of love and action. Help us rise and play. Despair, your world release. Man redeemed from war and hatred, all may come and go in peace. Show us how through care and goodness fear will die and hope increase. You, Creator God, have written. Your great name on humankind For a growing in your likeness Bring the life of Christ to mind That by our response and service Earth its destiny may find Good morning. Good morning. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we come before the Lord today, on this fifth Sunday of Ordinary Time, and the Mother Church reminds us of Jesus' healing. As we face our own suffering and afflictions, Jesus is present, and he brings healing into our hearts. Today in the gospel, we hear of the Lord going to different places, delivering, preaching, and healing. Let us, let us invite him into our hearts. As we prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask for pardon and strength. You have come to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have come to save sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy. 
mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. You alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job spoke, saying, Is not man's life on earth a drudgery? Are not his days those of hirelings? He is a slave who longs for the shade, a hireling who waits for his wages. So I have been assigned months of misery, and troubled nights have been allotted to me. If in bed I say, when shall I arise? Then the night drags on. I am filled with restlessness until the dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. They come to an end without hope. Remember that my life is like the wind. I shall not see happiness again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. <clears throat> praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. 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 How good to sing psalms to our God. How pleasant to chant fitting praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He counts out the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Praise the Lord who heals the 
heals the broken hearted. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, there is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense. But if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? that when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. To the weak, I became weak, to win over the weak. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. For bread alone cannot feed us, but your word, O God, is our food and a banquet for our hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew and James and John. Simon's mother in law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak, because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages, that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. I think we'll be listening to the recorded homily from our Cardinal. The words of Job in today's first reading find a place in our hearts in these days. Is not man's life on earth a drudgery? My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. They come to an end without hope. 
I shall not see happiness again. This past year has worn many of us down with the pandemic, economic uncertainties, and social unrest. Hope seems so very thin. Still, that painful experience for us as people of faith isn't a whole story. It must be completed by the gospel that we just now heard. There, Jesus heals bodies and spirits. He raises up Peter's mother-in-law and others who are physically ill. He cast out oppressive demons. But to all who are afflicted, he also brings hope. Hope as much as air or water or food enables us to live and to go forward. Hope cannot simply be wishful thinking and it cannot amount to hope in ourselves or our own resources. The only hope that will truly sustain us is the hope that God gives us in Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. As St. Paul tells us, the gift of hope is already ours. For Jesus Christ dwelling in us is our hope of glory. The theme of this year's annual Catholic Appeal captures this calling to be Jesus' missionary disciples. Come, follow me, and bring hope to the world. Your support of the appeal is more important than ever. Through it, you give hope to so many, to the parish and school communities financially impacted by the virus, to the ministries in the archdiocese that care for vulnerable individuals during this global crisis, and to Catholic Relief Services, which reaches out to the whole world. Jesus says to each of us, Come, follow me, and bring hope to the world. As your financial circumstances permit, please join me and other Catholics in making a gift to the annual Catholic Appeal of the Archdiocese. You have my promise that the Archdiocese will be respectful of your sacrifice and a good steward of your gift. And once your parish meets its goal, proceeds return to the parish to support its mission in your local community. Listen now to your pastor's instructions. Because of restrictions imposed by the virus, he will help you to make your pledge on your phone. Then celebrate the Eucharist with hearts uplifted and grateful for the hope that God has poured into our hearts. Good morning, everyone. Hope you enjoy the short homily from the Cardinal today, asking all of us to make a financial commitment to the Archdiocese of Chicago to annual Catholic appeal. As your pastor, I want to thank all of you who have given to this campaign in the past year. And I can assure you, as Cardinal said as well, that the funds you gave are deeply appreciated by parishes, schools, and people served by the Archdiocese. And each of us is called to share his or her own gifts in support of the church. And we must first, obviously, support our local community, our parish. And I thank you for your continued support to our community here during this difficult time. But as the Catholic Church, you know, we call the universal church, you know, we support one another. But we will try to help one another, those who are in need. And the Catholic Annual Appeal is a very effective way to support ministry outside of our parish boundaries, as well to support the services that the Archdiocese provides to our parish. This year's appeal is slightly different because we are not collecting in pew platforms. As you all know, every year, the usher usually pass out the form and the pencil for you to fill out the form and to give a plat. But we highly encourage you this year to consider making your gift online. It takes only a few simple steps. It is very secure. You can visit the website annualcatholicappeal.com to make your gift online. And I will also share this link to our Paris website and also our email communications. That's another option that is new this year. I know many parishes are doing now, 
during these pandemics is to tax, to give at another option. I know today with technology, you can do that. Many of us have our smartphone or cell phone. This is a quick way to open up the secure giving form online to make a gift to a tax. So if you would like to do, if you have a cell phone and you want to do it now, that's the fast way to do, to take out your cell phone, your smartphone, and to open your tax message application and enter the number, very easy to remember, 345345. So you can enter number 345345 and then type the word, keyword, you know, ACA 2021. So ACA 2021 in the message area. And this is not case sensitive. And then send the keyword and you will see a response in your text messages. And it contains the hyperlink to open a donation form for the appeal. And you can select our Paris from the drop down menu. Make sure to give us to our Saint Mother Theodore Gear in Paris. They have a lot of Parises in the whole diocese. So make sure you give credit to us. And rather than an annual pledge, please consider setting up a recurring donation for the same amount. I would, if you would like, you may also pick up a mail in giving envelope in the vestibule. And you may take one on your own, on your way out of Mass today. You can bring it back to church and drop it in the basket in the vestibule, or you can send it directly to the archdiocese. And I'm sure many of you already received the mailing from the coroner. And with the, uh, the mail-in giving envelope, you can do it that, that way as well. So on, beh on behalf of Coroner Schubert and all those who benefit from the good work of annual Catholic appeal, and myself, I thank you for your contribution, especially for your continued support to our parish community here. May God bless you all. Thank you. And now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. The substantial of the Father, through him all things are made, and for us men and of our salvation, and down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With trust in God's loving, loving will, let us make our requests known to him. For all those in the church who are called and entrusted to guide the faithful out of darkness to our one true light, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For national and world leaders, may they have hearts and ears attuned to those who suffer so they are guided to create laws and regulations that protect those who most need our compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who suffer torment of mind, body, and spirit, may they learn to unite their sufferings to Christ and know that Jesus will never leave them or forsake them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer.
For all those who support the annual Catholic Appeal by sharing their time, talent, and treasure as they hear the call to follow Jesus, bring hope to the world for all those who benefit from the appeal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the students in religious education program who are celebrating the sacrament of reconciliation for the first time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those listed in our parish bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, Louis Licardi, Deacon Juan Ponce de Leon, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions for which this Mass is offered, Father Aldo Vinci, Angelo and Ignazio Libreri, Jennings family, Anita Anarino, Betty Ann Dombrowski, Helen McCormick, Fran Sam and Mary Ferracci, birthday, Art Oslowski, Frank Pudlow, Norb Zick, Arthur Santangelo, anniversary, Rose Christopher, Mary T. Schaefer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, hear our prayers and pour out your grace upon us. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, thank you so much for your continued support to our parish. Thank you for your donation. Um, you have seen the boxes on your way out. Um, thank you for dropping your envelope. And for those of you who continue to give online, we truly appreciate it. Thank you for your generosity. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your church. Lift them up to the Lord. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again, again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity 
made the body of Christ in the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be made, be, be, be manifest at the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered wing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us share some sign of peace with one another. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Ear has 
has not heard what God has ready for those who love Him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. Our lives are but a single breath. We flower and we So we return in love what love has made. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love Him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Just the wisdom of God. To those who see with eyes of faith, the Lord is ever near, reflected in the faces of all the poor and lonely of the world. I has not seen. Here has not heard what God has ready for those who love Him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. Let us pray. O oh God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have two announcements. Please check the bulletin and website for our February 17th Ash Wednesday schedule. Reservations are needed. Either register online or call the rectory or pastoral center. And again, please be careful when leaving our church for the parking lot and the sidewalks because they could be slippery. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Now let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a blessed week. Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for their Lord. For God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. And the meek shall come to rule the world. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord. By the light of truth, to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my 
shall be theirs and the pure in heart shall see their God blessed are they who hunger only holiness can fill for I say they shall be satisfied lead me Lord lead me Lord by the light of truth to see to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today. Blessed are they who through their lifetime sow the seeds of peace. All will call them children of the Lord. Blessed are you who persecuted in your holy life, for in heaven great is your reward. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead. 